Demilitarization is in full swing, but there is a nuance. The main goal announced by Putin at the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine was the demilitarization of Ukraine. However, somehow magically the Kremlin manages to achieve the diametrically opposite effect. At first, the West took a wait-and-see attitude and watched what was happening in Ukraine, but after seeing how the AFU was fighting and realizing the real scale of Russian madness, it decided to support Ukraine. And now, once almost ruined, the Ukrainian army can rightfully be called one of the strongest in the world. The AFU soldiers are trained by the best instructors in the world, Ukraine is helped by supplies of modern weapons. Which Russia, despite all the bravado, has never dreamed of. The other day Ukraine has already received the first batch of American Abrams tanks, and then there will be a number of deliveries, but the exact number has not been disclosed yet. No less interesting are the expected cluster Atacams and how they will prove themselves, working on Crimean airfields and not only on them. Strictly speaking, the targets will be destroyed. Once the airfields are destroyed, Russia's air advantage will be lost definitively. And by then, the road across the front line will already be open. The minefields will run out at some point and the already heavy Abrams will go against the enemy infantry. But back to Atacams. After the Western media started talking about the transfer of Atacams missiles to Ukraine by the US, immediately began talking about the number of missiles that will be transferred. Some small amount. Although there are no official confirmations about the transfer of these missiles to Ukraine yet, and there are only a lot of articles in the Western media, let us assess what this small number of missiles is, which many people did not like. According to the latest open data, the US has up to 4,000 missiles in storage. I should note that this is four times more than the UK and France have Storm Shadow and Scalp EG combined. So, what is the small number, of 4,000 Atacams? Is it 400, 40, or 4 missiles? But even 4 is better than 0, isn't it? But another thing is much more interesting. Remember the first time Ukraine received M142 Himmers? First it was a batch of 9 vehicles. Then 4 units in each aid package. And so gradually, Ukraine got a serious strike capability. Therefore, in the message about the small quantity of Atacams, I don't see any negativity. They are starting with a small amount and will continue with something much larger. The main thing is for the speculations to turn into reality. Soon we will know, hear and see everything. And Russia continues to fight with old Soviet weapons. This is the failure of Putin's demilitarization of Ukraine, as well as all his initiatives. But the war is far from over. Russian soldiers have no value neither for the dictator nor for the Russians themselves. There is no such limit of meat for Russia, after which the price for fighting will become unacceptable. What to talk about, if even for exchange Ukrainians need to look for Russian military of special varieties, so that someone would want to take them. Nobody cares about the rest, they are left to rot in Ukrainian soil by the thousands.